This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. This is Josh Inobakure and we're going to learn Adobe Premiere and I admit just over five minutes. We're gonna go to Adobe Premiere in the Creative Cloud, create a new project. We're gonna call it My First Project. We're going to browse and state where we wanna store it. I'm gonna just store it on the desktop. And do press OK. Here we go. We have um, five basic um, sections of the Premiere interface. The first section we're going to talk about is what's called the project panel. This is going to be where all of our media is stored. Let's right click and do import to import our media. I already have our media here on my desktop. This is music video footage from a Sean Kingston video that we just shot and edited. Check this out. See this in uh, see this footage now in the project panel. As you click on it, you can actually view it in this panel called the source monitor up here. As you can see here, you can click through each clip and view each clip. All right, now, so we're going to now edit. We're gonna to get to the main, the main um, gist of where we actually video edit here in the timeline panel. Um, in the timeline panel, you're going to have multiple sequence tabs. It's within those tabs where is where which is it's within those tabs where the actual editing takes place. So we got to create an icon for a sequence tab here in the project panel. So we're going to do new item and we're going to create sequence. Okay. Now it's important that the sequence settings are the exact same thing as your clip settings. These clip settings are um, 1920 by 1080. Um, and um, 24 frames per second. So I already have the preset um, clicked on um, right here. You can see all this, the settings right here. Um, you just want to make sure that the resolution and the frame rate are the same as your clip settings. So we already got that figured out. We're going to do OK. Um, we happen to just name it sequence one. All right, now as we create our sequence, we see the sequence tab here in the timeline panel. Now check this out. We're going to start importing. We're, sorry, we're going to start placing our footage within our sequence. Cool. Check this out. Now um, here in the the sequence tab, you see that um, uh, you have a, a with something called a playhead. This playhead uh, continues to roll over any clip that's underneath it. And up here, here's a new window. Now we have something called the program window. The program window is a visual representation of wherever this playhead is in your sequence. So I'm going to press play. Watch the, uh, you guys get the idea. You guys see what's happening. Whatever this playhead is rolling on top of is going to be what you see on the, the uh, on this uh, program window. Now say I have two clips on top of each other. This uh, playhead is of course only going to look at the top clip. So we're only looking, we're looking at this clip, FP114 clip 4. The reason why we can't see clip 1 is because it's underneath um, clip 4. And now we can see clip 1 because clip 4 is now um, on the side. And we're able to actually view clip 4 with the playhead. You guys get the idea. Okay, so now we're going to check out effects. Um, if we click on a clip, we have the ability to go to effects controls. That's this tab right here. Um, there are different effects that can be applied on any clip. You have video effects and you have audio effects. Um, these are the default effects that are on every clip. Um, you can have motion. Within motion, you can control the position. You can control the scale. You can control the rotation. Um, let's actually reset all of those. Um, you can also control the opacity right here. Opacity is the transparency. Cool, I'm gonna go back to 100% opacity. All right, and we'll talk about keyframes later. Um, now, audio effects. Audio effects, the only audio effect, effect that you're gonna really care about is the volume. You can adjust the volume here. Zero is the original volume that the clip had. Anything above zero is louder, anything below that is quieter. Okay, so now that, um, check this out as well. There are two tools 
that you're going to be using. The main tool is the selection tool. You'll be using that 90% of the time. Um, another tool you can use is something called a razor tool. You use a razor tool to cut up a clip. Check this out. Let's go back to the selection tool. And now we see that this clip is now cut into different segments. Cool. Awesome. Now say I want to just cut the clip from the end. You can actually still have these, uh, the selection tool highlighted. Put it on the edge of the clip. It's going to turn to this red arrow. And you can actually cut the clip from the end this way. It cuts it. You can shrink it or extend it. And that's another way to cut clips. All right. So you guys get the basic idea of editing. Um, using... I forgot. I totally forgot. These were the default effects, right? You remember? Now, if we want to add any extra effects, you can go to the effects tab right here. Um, let's only talk about video effects right now. There are different video effects. There's color correction effects. There's blur effects. I'm, I don't have time to get in all, into every one of those effects, but let's, for example, put a blur effect on this clip. We're going to put a Gaussian blur on this clip right here. Check this out. See, we just put an effect on this clip, and it just appeared in effect controls. So all of our original effects, video effects, you already know, motion opacity. Um, added to that was this added effect, this Gaussian blur. What does it do? It blurs the clip. Cool, you guys get the point. All right, guys, so um, video editing um, in Premiere is a very effective way to um, edit together different video files that you have. Um, in future tutorials, we're gonna learn um, more uh, intricate techniques of how to create professional video edits. This is just a basic overview for now. Thanks so much. You guys take care.